While the euro did indeed finally drop down to test parity on Tuesday against the U.S. dollar, the ability for the single currency to avoid crashing below the barrier was actually quite impressive when considering the horrid German and Eurozone ZEW reads. It seems option-related activity was enough to keep the market from trading below parity, at least for the time being. Broadly speaking, we saw general profit-taking on U.S. dollar positions, though risk sentiment remained way down as reflected through the drop in U.S. equities. Investors continue to worry about the impact of higher rates on the economy while now getting nervous about Q2 earnings season, which starts up later this week. Key standouts on today's calendar come from the RBNZ policy decision, China trade, German inflation, UK industrial production, trade and GDP, Eurozone industrial production, US inflation, the Bank of Canada policy decision and the Fed beige book late in the day. That's all for now.